Iran, uh, as you know, has been under uh, sanctions. Um, so especially the lower segments of society are affected negatively with these sanctions. And uh, all people who have been running for presidency in Iran have, have focused on uh, economic issues, which is not very uncommon. When you look at elections in other countries, you see more or less the same thing. Uh, and uh, Iran is no exception with regard to trying to win an election by addressing economic difficulties of uh, the country that the person is running in. Uh, and I think, yes, that's going to be a significant part of uh, the election campaign uh, as we go forward. I think we have to wait and see for uh, the investigation to uh, go through, to see whether whether it was uh, an issue, was it a technical problem with the helicopter, or there was some sort of sabotage. It was, so this is something that we have to consider and, and wait for that investigation. His foreign policy was successful because uh, he managed to uh, move away from uh, the sanctions that was designed to uh, crush Iran's uh, ability to function properly. Iran joined the Shanghai uh, Cooperation Organization during his uh, tenure. Uh, Iran joined BRICS during his uh, tenure. He wanted to improve relations with countries like China and Russia, and he did that uh, to a large extent. Uh, he wanted to improve relations with Iran's neighbors, and you saw the reaction of all the neighbors after him passing away. So I think he has uh, had uh, successes, and I'm sure he wanted to do a better job in terms of economic improvement of people's lives.